today we will learn factorization by using identities while learning about algebraic expressions and identities we have discussed some standard identities here the left side of standard identities is shown will you be able to tell the right side try it Let me tell you do you know with the help of these identities we can also find the factors of some expressions suppose we want to find the factors of 4x square plus 20x plus 25 are there any common factors in the three terms of this expression think think no There are no common factors in these three terms. Just think, we can factorize this expression using one of these standard identities. Let me tell you, there are three terms in this expression. There are two terms on the right side of the third standard identity, so we cannot use it. There are three terms on the right side of each of the first and second identity, so. Let's understand which identity we can use. We can write four x square as two x square and twenty five as five square. In this way, we see that the first term and the third term in this expression are perfect squares. At the same time, we also see that the sign of the middle term is positive. Can you tell me? Which of these expressions correspond to the right side of the standard identity? Think, think. Absolutely right. This expression corresponds to the right side of the identity. A plus b bracket square is equal to a square plus two ab plus b square. Therefore, we can use this identity. If we assume A is equal to two x and b is equal to five. Then a square plus two ab plus b square is equal to two x square plus two multiplied by two x multiplied by five plus five square. That is four x square plus twenty x plus twenty five, which is similar to the given expression. But according to question, a square plus two ab plus b square is equal to A plus B bracket square. So we can say four x square plus twenty x plus twenty five is equal to two x plus five whole square. Thus, with the help of standard identity, we have multiplied this expression, and these are its factors. In this way, to factorize an expression, first we find the identity which has its right side. similar to the expression then we find the factors of the desired expression from the corresponding expression on the left side of that standard identity now suppose we want to factorize 9y square minus 36y plus 36 then how will we do this think think Absolutely right. Here, factor nine is common in all three terms. So, under the distributive property, we can take it outside the bracket like this. We can write the expression written inside the parentheses like this. In this way, we see that the expression inside this bracket corresponds to the right side of the standard identity, where a is equal to y, b is equal to two. And two ab is equal to two multiplied by y multiplied by two, that is four y. Therefore, we can factorize this expression as y minus two whole square. Thus, this gives us the factorization of given expression like this. We can also write it like this. Now, pause the video. And find the factors of forty nine x square minus hundred. Let me tell you, 
We can write 49x square as 7x square and 100 as 10 square. In this way, both terms of this expression are perfect squares. It corresponds to the right side of this identity. a plus b, a minus b is equal to a square minus b square where a is equal to 7x and b is equal to 10. Therefore, using the third identity, we can factorize the given expression as 7x plus 10 into bracket 7x minus 10. Now, find the factors of the expressions given below. So today we have learned factorization using identities. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples related to them.